Hello everyone, welcome back to the Castlevania Marathon. Today we're playing game 23, Castlevania The Adventure Rebirth, released on the WiiWare in 2009. Uh, yeah, I've never played this game before. I've heard that this is the last classic Vania. This is going to be more of a traditional style, older style, not Metroidvania kind of game here. After this game, we're going to be playing Lord of the Shadow 1 and then Mirror of Fate, which I actually figured out is on Steam. There's an HD version. We're going to play that one instead of the 3DS. And then we're going to play Lord of the Shadows 2. And then we have the Bloodstained games. We've, we've reached the goals for Bloodstained 1 and 2. And now we have one more sub goal to, to add a Ritual of the Night to the marathon. And then after Ritual of the Night, you know, we're going to be doing some Castlevania speedruns in between. Where maybe we'll do a sub goal for me to learn Castlevania speedrun for Castlevania 4 as well. And then, we, yeah, maybe we'll just keep learning Castlevania speedruns. I'm kind of into learning more of these games. I'm really enjoying learning Castlevania 1 speedruns. So I'm excited to try out the other ones as well okay let's get started here this is Castlevania the adventure rebirth or the Wii at least in 2009 let's get going Count Dracula a demon king with a once great demonic power who seeks to hold the oh so fast time after time throughout history Dracula was defeated by the Belmont family of vampires that brought peace to this land I hate how they go so fast hundred years have passed since Dracula's demise and with the fear of him gone he is he rose again along with his castle to scourge the land with his evil. With such a tragic history repeating itself, Christopher, in center of the Belmonts, stand to stand up to humanity against the demon. He alone seeks to infiltrate the dark castle where the demons run rampant. Okay, we're playing as Christopher Belmont, which is from, um... So the S is sort of like a remake of the first Game Boy game, Castlevania the Adventure. But I've heard it's completely different, so we're playing as Christopher again. So, this is what we... Okay. Seems like we upgraded our whip there. This is cool. I, I wish they would just release like Konami should just release like a new one, like just like this. I'm completely fine with just classic Vania. Classic Vania is so much fun. Just pick up and play. Don't have to worry about gear, leveling up stats. You just go through the levels and try your best. I dig it. What's up here? Get the money. This is just cool. It's just like a cool. I mean, I love it. I already, I'm already liking it. I. This is the perfect palate cleanser. What is that? This is the perfect palate cleanser after. Oh, I can shoot fire now, like in the, the original Game Boy game. This is the perfect cal palate cleanser after all those Metroidvanias in a row. Like, I'm just so happy to be playing something a little bit, like, a little bit different. I wasn't burnt out or anything. I wouldn't say I was burnt out. Just, it's nice to have some, um, some variety, you know. I was playing those games for so long. Get holy watered scrubs. And now that I've played through all of them, I, I feel like I've improved throughout the marathon. Well, maybe I'm speaking too soon. What's down here? Oh, meat. Okay. Alright, next room. Oh, we just got the cross. What, what? Does anyone know what that green bar is? Also, what's that? I wonder if that's an alternate route. No idea. There's like, I get keep getting a green bar. I got a key, actually. Ooh. Is there, is there a secret over here? I should check this out. What is this? Alternate route? What is, what was the point of that? Oh, I didn't realize there's a time in the corner. I think it's the amount of time you have, um, fire like the fire fire coming out of your whip front damn it really I went in there with the heart or I went in there with the key and all there was was a five heart drop how lame dude fucking birds get wrecked get wrecked get get whipped come here it doesn't seem too hard. Like, the enemies aren't doing that much damage. Fuck. The, the, 
always the birds are going to be my worst enemy. Oh, we're already at the boss fight. Let's go down here and see what's down here. What's over here? Any meat? Okay. Okay, let's do the boss fight. I don't have a sub weapon. Should be okay. Maybe there's a sub weapon drop in here. What kind of boss? Oh, the bat? Okay, we'll take a bat. Oh my god, is it. Is this easy as fuck or what? What is. What is this? Oh, the axe? I want that axe. Alright. GG. GG on the boss there. Oh, is that just a sub boss? Oh, there's more. Well, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe not easy. Oh, there's the hidden meat. What is this? Let's use this here. I'm not gonna risk it. Seems like there's a key item to unlock like alternate secrets or paths. Oh, hey Beckmec, what's up man? Welcome in, good to see you. We're playing uh, this WiiWare game today. I feel like this one is like not really talked about ever. This Castlevania game, like, people just like, don't talk about this one. Get wrecked, bird. I'm gonna keep the axe. Can you... It seems like you can't do like the jump up onto the stairs. Like you have to go from the bottom, like classic, like really old school. Like Rondo of Blood, you can like jump mid stairs, right? You can like jump on onto the stairs. This one you have to start at the bottom and go up. Get wrecked, bird. Oh, get, get fucking boned. Come here. Come here. Come here, birdie. Shit. That's what I get for shit talking. I deserve that. Oh god. The only thing similarity to a uh, adventure so far is these eyeball enemies, which were in the, um, the original Game Boy game. What did I wonder what the money? Just money? Just maybe uh, level ups? There's no way to get this game. I asked my uncle, and my uncle hooked me up. My uncle had this copy on his Wii, and he shipped me his Wii from America. And now, I, I'm very lucky. So, I can go this way? What is to the left here? Well, welcome to the Dracula Slayer's Beck Mech, and, um, what is over here? I'm kind of nervous. What is this? Oh, shit. Whoa! Yeah, so someone else slayed Dracula for you, Beckmech, and uh, I hope that I hope that makes you happy. Let's see what th what this is. All right, that's it, really? No meat. Okay, let's jump across. So yeah, someone showed up and killed Dracula for Beckmech, and Beckmech took the. Took the, took the, it took the uh, credit. So, holy shit! Holy shit! What the fuck is this? I want that down there. Do I just go down? What am I supposed to do here? Oh my god! This is mayhem. Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> well, that's new. I didn't wasn't expecting that. Okay. Well, there's there's death number one. Oh. Uh, weird. Weird. This is weird. I want that. All right. I was I was going for a death a deathless attempt. But I guess that's not going to be the reality here. Alright, 
into the boss here. I guess there's gonna be sub bosses and then like regular bosses. What could this possibly be? It's a big fucking eyeball. Oh shit. Take a holy water, scum. Take a holy water. Oh god. Oh shit, this is new. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. The way he like shits out those eyeballs is disgusting. Okay, it seems like holy water is not the way to go. Alright, GG on the eyeball. That reminds me of, um, those eyeballs remind me of Mario 64 so much. I think it's hilarious. Beckbeck says I started Silent Hill for the first time only about a half, and only about an hour in, but it's good so far. I love, I love Silent Hill. I want to know about your, your playthrough, Beckbeck. First Silent Hill 1 is great, but Silent Hill 2 is the real, it's the real beauty of the game. That game is amazing. Take a holy water. Take a holy water to the feet. I'm just like soaking your feet in holy water right now. Take it. Oh, this fireball is so good. Can I get up there? Yeah, Konami, I know. The conversation about Konami, I know. It sucks. It sucks what they've become, NFTs instead of games, but maybe, you know, maybe it's in development and we're just we're all just waiting for their big return. They realize that their 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 franchises have a lot of value, so. What are these things? Look at these birds, man. That's the weirdest looking enemy I've ever seen in a Castlevania game. <laughs> what is that? It's like a... It's like a... Is it a chicken or a crow? It's like a... What is that jump animation? Dong? Dong? What the hell? Alright, can I go... Th oh, I have to use this key to get through this door. Alright, and it lowers the bridge. Are we going to Dracula's castle? Oh, flea men are back. They're really slow. Oh god. I wasn't expecting him to come down there. They really need a death rattle squawk. Yeah, none of the enemies really have any like um, sounds, sound effects when I'm killing them. Damn it! I want to see what's down here. Cross seems like really good. As always, cross seems amazing. Ooh, another key. Oh, to get that, I need to go this way. I hope it doesn't despawn. Oh, this game's actually, like, mod- Fuck. Has, like, a modern feel to it, so, like, things don't despawn when they're off the screen. When I play these kind of games, I always just expect the worst. What is this? Can I go down here? There's all- I feel like there's like a bunch of alternate paths in this game too, which is really cool. I wasn't expecting that. Oh shit. I was just looking for meat, to be honest. We're, we're finding secrets. Oh, th this is where we wanted to go. This is the door. What is this? I'm a little nervous, to be honest. Oh, okay, this is similar to, um... It's a big rat. This is similar to one of the Game Boy games, too, where you throw the holy water 
I think that was Legends that had that mechanic. Fuck. Legends had the mechanic where you throw holy water and the room lights up. Shit. Well, we died. Okay, let's not like be as reckless. Let's not hit these chandeliers. They're gonna hurt us. So we can go that way, or like, what's going up? Like, I just want to see the different routes. What's up here? For some for some reason, this looks worse. I wonder how many levels there are. The Game Boy one had four. Yeah, the Game Boy... Oh, we don't have a key. So, you can come to dead ends? You can, like... Oh, you don't have the key? Too bad. Like, go back? Really? Am I gonna die? Oh, I see. Oh, okay. Interesting. We don't have the key this time, so we have to go down. It's different routes is cool. I'm into it. I'm here for it. These are gonna break. Yeah, it's gonna break. You have to watch out. Okay, Merman. You know what? I'm digging this game so far. This game is fun. I'm having good time so far. Alright, that's gonna break. We have to hurry up and go. Nice. There's the key. Let's go down. Are we going underwater? Oh no. know he's gonna shoot oh god I'm honestly fascinated by how little it has in common with originally it seems like it's only similar in that you're playing as Christopher um, and that's it like that's the only thing that's it, that has in common with the original it's not a remake like it's just it's just like another I feel like it's just like another yeah, and the fireball whip and like some of the enemies, of course, like, like, are kind of similar. But like, other than that, it's a pretty much completely different experience, which is cool. It just feels like a new Castlevania game. It doesn't feel like I'm like playing adventure. Thank God. I don't feel like playing adventure again. All right, we gotta be careful and not, not die again to this guy. Take him out immediately. I wonder what the speedrun to this game is like. I'm kind of curious. Alright, progress. Let's jump down. We have a key, so we can go in here. The Game Boy 1s generally weren't great. Adventure 2 was alright. I loved... I actually really liked Belmont's Revenge. Um, that game is, that game is good. The soundtrack is awesome. Can I grab this? Okay. Belmont's Revenge is really, is really good. The music is so underrated. Like, no one talks about how good the music is in that game. And it legit is, like, amazing. do you do if they hit his little weird to his little weird thing what the fuck do you do I feel like I feel like my whip's not long enough what what am I doing wrong what the fuck is this what am I doing 
Can I leave? I want to go home. What do I do? What is this boss? I want to die. What is going on? Okay, you have to hit his red thing? It's so hard to hit. How do I hit it? Alright, there you go. One more hit. God damn. Yeah, you have to hit- it's a timing thing with the slime, but like, it was hard. Like, I felt like my, my whip wasn't long enough. Oh, this is cool. I feel like this kind of thing isn't in many Castlevanias. Um, there's a- there's something like this in, like, Chronicles. But this kind of, like, elevator thing... Not in many of the games. Here, you have to, like, kill enemies on the way up. That was cool. Like that boss of Super Mario World, Yoshi's Island. There's been a lot of comparisons to uh, Mario World. Or uh, Yoshi's Island. It's like the second time someone was like, Oh, that boss is like that boss from Yoshi's Island. Okay. Is there meat somewhere? I could really use some meat in my mouth right around now. So I have some new emotes, but they're taking forever to get, um, approved. It's taking, like, it's taking so long. Alright, where, where is the meat? It's not in this room. These are cool too, you have to kill all the enemies before you can get into the next room. That's pretty cool. Yeah, this game is underrated. Just saying it right now, I'm liking this game so far. Some merman meat, yeah, the merman meat that's like... Doesn't actually drop from the merman. It's like hidden in like... Some other enemy in the bottom of the ocean, yeah. We have to watch the time a little bit. Kind of worried about the time limit down there. We have, we have um, two minutes and thirty seconds to clear the stage. Oh, there's the meat. Nice. All right, there's the boss fight. Oh shit! I had the I had the cross too, and I gave it up for the axe. We have so many hearts though. Maybe we could take this guy out. Stone, stone golem? What is that? Muscle man? He has so much health. Oh, we're... Oh, he got scrawny. What is that? Dude, the enemy designs are kind of whack, man. <laughs> Oh shit, dude. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wimpy little scrawny bitch. Come here. <laughs> I think we're gonna die. The Owl's Nest official says, dang, this boss is bananas. Seems like an S <laughs> SCP foundation monster. Well, we got our asses kicked by that scrawny little bitch. We have to do the whole, we have to do the whole stage again. Oh, God. Already gaming over. Welcome. Welcome to my Castlevania Marathon. There's been a lot of this, and there's gonna, there's gonna be even more in the future. If I was good, I could probably have first tried that, but... Unfortunately. Alright, but now we know the lore, we know the strats now, right? We know what to do. Oh, thank you so much, Owl's Nest Official. Thank you so much for the follow, I really appreciate it. Have you heard Castlevania Chronicles? Yeah, we we, we played that already. Um, we, we played all of them, basically, up until 2009, age. Okay, so there was actually a door I wanted to check out uh, with this key here. 
wanted to go check out over here. And go in this door. Oh, I don't have the key anymore. Where did it go? Did I accidentally pick up an item? Shit. Well, shit, man. I accidentally picked up the holy water. Okay. I wanted to see what was in that door. Maybe like a different route? Someone told me this game is like really hard, but so far it doesn't seem that bad. Seems fine so far. Wee! Woo! Wee! Go! Okay, we're back to this slime, the slime guy. Let's see if I can do this better this time. All right, it only takes like three hits. He's just kind of hard to hit, to be honest. You have to get closer. Alright, like that. Figured it out. We know the lore now. We'll have more attempts at this boss here. We're gonna keep the cross. There's something over here. Gonna get as many hearts as possible. I think the cross is gonna be the better item here. Oh god, I'm nervous again. This guy was pretty, like, erratic. Like, this kind of pattern was scary. Alright. Cross seems pretty good. Wrong way. What the fuck is that? Oh, I'm dead. I'm so dead. I'm, I'm cornered. <sighs> Shit. Damn, that was that's that's tough. He's a, he's he's kind of tough. He's kind of spongy. Try it again. Good try, yeah. Let's see. well, we have two more tries at him. Hopefully, I can get him in at least one of these tries, so we can get to the next level. We just like get on. Let's just get on him fast. Just be more aggressive. Now that we have full life, we should be fine, maybe? Speedrun strats. Let's go. GG. Did it. Orb. If you're dying to a Castlevania boss, like... 80% of the time, you have to be, just be more aggressive and just, like, attack more. 